Hey, hi guys. Uh, we'll talk about uh, SAP Central Finance On-Premise Edition 1809. And in this video, we'll just talk about you know, the solution highlights, what has been released latest, what are the features in the new product. So before we jump on to the new things, uh, let's talk about, uh, let's recap basically uh, what has been, what is Central Finance actually for the new new people who really want to understand this concept. This is a hot topic in the market. So central finance is basically the replication uh, method or you can say an easy way to transform to S4 HANA where you can continue using your legacy applications, SAP, non-SAP, and you can simply start the data replication from so your source system to S4 HANA system and it's a basically a no disruption approach towards uh, transformation of your S4 HANA journey. Uh, data is transferred via SAP SLT. SLT is a middleware where the data replication happens and mapping plays a key role where code mapping and the value mappings which uh, like you know, all your master data or your configurable objects it plays a key role in transformation where the source system sends out the document, accounting document, uh, all the objects including company code, cost center, GL account, plan, profit center, any object being used in the do document is being transformed through the mapping table and then reposted into the S4 HANA system. So it's basically a, uh, it writes a document, it does not just copy paste. So, and as of now, the scope is accounting documents are repl replicated, document changes are replicated, and zero replication happens. Apart from them, there are a few new features being added to the to the catalog. We'll talk about those as we move on. So, but we before we jump on to the features, let's understand the limitation. The product has some limitations as well. So, like postings to CO to FI reconciliation ledger are still not replicated. Any year in closing posting where the reference transaction AWT type is used is not replicated. Clearings are not transferred as a part of the initial load, but you can activate the transfers of clearing by ongoing replication. So there is a workaround to achieve this. Recurring entries are not replicated. Sample documents are not replicated. Any noted items which are not posted uh, kind of things, you know, which are notes to the balance sheet are not replicated. However, there is a solution for down payment request, which we will talk in the subsequent slides. Park documents are not replicated. Closing operations are not uh, replicated, uh, basically, and the balance carry forward items are not replicated. We'll talk about the reconciliation report. So these are the reports provided by SAP where you can compare your source system data and your target system data. So basically it, it says what is being posted in the source system, what is being replicated in the target system, what is the missing. It shows the very errors very beautifully. It highlights the lines in the red color. It, each line, you know, each object uh, is being is shown on the report itself. So, th and now the good part is that these reconciliation reports can also be used for the non-SAP system replication, which use the SLT staging tables. So we'll talk about this particular solution for SLT staging tables in the next session because that's a very uh, latest in the new functionality basically and it also it's also very useful where most of the customers might have non-SAP systems in their scope of uh, transformation. So the next area is central payments with uh, with this feature, the vendors and customers open items and invoices replicated from source system can be paid or clearly cleared centrally in SAP S4 HANA. So basically what happens is you post your vendor or customer invoice in ECC system, it get it get basically technically cleared in ECC system and can be rep, will be replicated to S4 HANA system as an open item. And then you run your payment program for outgoing payments. 
you do your cash application for incoming payments in in your uh, S4 HANA system. So basically, it helps in centralization of your uh, payment functions, especially in the shared service. So with central payment functionality, enterprise with a distributed landscape can centralize the payment receivables and payables monitoring processes to leverage the benefit of shared services. Also, the bank communication management is simplified. SAP in-house cash functionalities are simplified and basically uh, it integrate with those functions for working capital management as well. So your all your banking, banking needs, all your outgoing payments, incoming payment, all your working capital part is in one system. You don't need to worry about working for those areas in several systems. But the prerequisite for that is the activation of central payment functionality is already done uh, to achieve this functionality. This is one of the very, very good functionality. It was added in 1709, uh, but with 1809, there are a lot of other things being added to this. This is the new thing which has been added now. So we'll talk about this uh, WBS reporting scenario. So it is suitable where customer is creating and editing projects in the source system and want to do project reporting in S4 HANA system. So you create a WBS in source system and that's replicated to S4 HANA systems. So you, you can have different identifiers in source system and target system for WBS and that there is a mapping which needs to be performed for those. And when a project is replicated to CFIN system, for the first time, new identifiers are derived for the project. So if we show, see the architecture, so on the top, you see there is a, there are two blocks basically. On the top, it says the replication of the project's WBS and the hierarchy. It happens through IDOCs. And if you see at the bottom, that the normal accounting document replication where WBS is being used, it's replicated through the SLT, which is the standard central finance functionality. So there are two set of this. Uh, we need to kind of configure this IDOC functionality of sending uh, I WBS from source to central system and then the, the bottom functionality works in the standard way. So that's a new functionality being added for the customers where project is one of the key area and they want to have a reporting in the central system. Commitments is also replicated now. So any commitment uh, made on the on the project or, or any PO, crea, PO being created is being replicated, not not the PO, but the commitment. So the initial load of commitment is also supported and the initial load preparation report is provided to simulate commitments. In the source system, commitments are updated in the persistence table based on PO or PR because when you create it, it generates the commitment and from that persistence table, the transformation happens. So this is how the architecture the example looks like. So if you see on the left hand side there is a source system, right hand side is the central finance system. You have a commitment here for three PCs and that commitment is updated in central finance system. Then you do a GR for two PCs. So then accordingly in central finance system the commitment is taken out and actually is posted for 3000 euros. Then you go back again and the invoice received happened for three PCs. So the commitment is reduced and the invoice is booked on the actuals. And when the final GR happens for one remaining PC, the commitment is zeroed out because everything is completed and the PO is basically at the closing stage. So internal order is replicated, commitment is replicated, FI document is replicated, then commitment, and then it keeps on going on and on. So, yeah, this is the very good functionality for commitment reporting from central finance system. It requires extra configuration, but uh, in, in terms of uh, functionality, in terms of reporting, it serves a very well structured uh, way to show you know how commitments are being transferred. So now if you see, if you have several source systems, you just have, you can see all your commitments in one system. Side panel, so this is a very interesting feature being added uh, in 1809 again. If you see here, I'll just, I'll not read the slide. If you see on the screen, uh, on the left hand side, this is a source system and the right hand side, it's a target system. So basically when you create an accounting document in the source system with the side panel, you can directly see the documents, uh, document the master data details in the from the central finance system. So it replicates, it comes back, it brings back the data from central finance system to the source system and it shows you on the screen itself. So document number 1800 last 73 is in 
posted in company code and that document is being replicated to 10000078 000 in central finance system and then at the bottom if you see all here we have on the right hand bottom side document glvo accounting mapping clearing status cost all mappings are also displayed at the same time so you have a real time view in the where you are sitting in source system you are logging into source system you have a real time view what is being posted in central finance system what mappings are being used and you have every time everything as a real time view within your within one screen so it combines basically your source system as well as the target system together sd document floats because most of the logistics processes when run from source system you need to ensure that you have a completeness of document at one place so in the sd document flow when you see the all the document flow if you see here standard order outbound delivery picking request goods issue invoice and accounting document so that accounting document the status is technically cleared and that accounting document is being replicated to s4hana system now from that s4hana system the document number comes back 18000586 that document comes back to see to source system and it enhances the sd document so within same sd document flow you can see the entire story of the document what happened right from sales order and what is the status of the document in s4hana itself it is cleared it is open it is paid or unpaid whatever the status is you can see in the source system itself so it basically brings the document number from the target system to the source system down payment integration with sd in central finance so with the now this is one of the noted item which is being replicated so down payment uh, is just any down payments you make any down payment request you made make our uh, it is request based or condition based both the down payment request is being replicated and that's how the flow looks like you create a sales order in source system then you create a down payment request in source system it gets replicated to target system then the del outbound delivery happens and basically any then you do the down payment from the target system then outbound delivery happens then receivable is cleared created that receivable comes back in s4 hana system and then you do your incoming payment in s4 hana so this can only be activated when you have central finance activated however from process perspective it, it is very good interesting functionality because down payments are done mostly on for on high value purchases most of the time there is a down payment involved and both request based as well as the condition based down payment are replicated tax customizing consistency check ensures that tax related customizing in the source in the central finance is consistent by replication of the key tax related customizing tables from source to s4 hana system so here like cfin acc hd aufk and cubk tables your tax customizing tables t000f t0015 7a 7b ttxd is replicated in s4 hana system so your tax settings should be similar so basically now the intent is to have tax reporting from s4 hana system so the source tables are replicated to s4 hana system and those are added with fins underscore cfin underscore table name so it do the consistency check to ensure that tax settings are same in both the system so that you know you don't need to do the tax reporting from your source system you can directly do it from s4 hana system because your payments your receivables your noted i your down payments all are part of s4 hana system all your consolidated numbers are part of s4 hana system so you can simply do the tax reporting as well from s4 hana so this was not available previously but since lot of customers were looking for this functionality because tax is a, it's a compliance related item and it was difficult from to have a multiple reporting now there's a one central system where you all your tax information is also available this is again the same thing the recheck uh, the tax recalculation check compare the tax posting values in there with replicated financial posting so if there is a tax posted on the document in source system it is replicated to s4 so it compares if the tax in source and s4 system is equal if something is failed or it doesn't match it books the error in aif and it blocks the document that's why i said your tax consistency or tax configuration posting should be same configuration check consistency this is another feature being added where system checks the configuration of one com of the co source company code as well as the target company code so there are a lot of things which it checks for ex one example is like 
GL account is open item managed in source system, but it is not open item managed in S4HANA system. So you have an inconsistency and then the document might fail. So there are several other features on which, uh, or several other aspects on which uh, this consistency check happens. Uh, there is a list to do that. Uh, that you run a simply run a transaction and some system con controls, you know, system takes charge of both the systems. It displays what object for particular company code are inconsistent. And before you replicate, start replication, uh, you can ensure that you, repli you remove the consistencies, inconsistencies so that your systems are equal and you have a, uh, your replication would be successful. Copa replica, uh, replication tool, this is an additional thing which was added in 1709 where uh, functionality uh, in this function where value field of the source system can be mapped to the characteristics and value field in the central finance system. So during the replication of the Copa documents, uh, the central finance system determines the value of each characteristics or value field based on the corresponding field in the source system. And the mapping of value fields and characteristics is performed basically. However, there is a limitation where since in s hana the SAP is promoting uh, account-based COPA, so the replication from account-based to, so, to cost-based or cost-based to account-based or vice versa is not possible. So there are, this is an additional tool where you can enhance and you can tweak the system and then replication is doable. So apart, so apart from what we have already covered, there are several other areas to talk about like uh, splitting of price difference in central finance, splitting cost of goods sold in central finance, withholding taxes in central finance, document count comparison and simulation of in central finance or ECPCA documents. And of course, another big area is non-SAP system replication where SAP has added the staging tables in SLT. You have to somehow bring your data to staging tables and from staging table, the data will be replicated to S4 HANA system. However, we'll cover all these as topics in different session. Uh, but for now, if you simply go and see what exactly the new release offers, is like when I say new release, it's some there are some features from 1709 and there are some features of 1809. So it's like reconciliation reports are there, central payment functionality is good to have, or I would say for shared service environments, it is must, must to have. Then we have central project and reporting scenarios, WBS, uh, uh, this is the architecture. Come replication of commitment, side panel in central finance, SD document flow enhancement, down payment integration where down payment request is also replicated, and the tech customizing consistency check where you can have your tax reporting from S4 HANA system itself. And then the overall company code level configuration consistency check where you can compare the company codes and before you start the replication and it throws out the error, you remove those errors and start the replication. So we'll cover all these areas in the next session. For now, that was all I have for you guys. Uh, keep learning. Thank you so much.